Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What is up, my girlies and my gays? And maybe the straights too, if you're watching. What's up, bro? Anyway, you guys, today's video, I'm so excited because we're gonna be going to the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna see if there's any glam goodies in there that are worth the coin. Mind you, it's a dollar. So a lot of it's probably gonna be worth a coin. You know what I mean? But I wanna see what's in there. Like, is there any good things that are in there? Are there good things that are actually worth like trying out? Or is it literally just kind of like a throwaway kind of thing? We'll find out. We're gonna find out today. So if you guys wanna come on this journey with me, I'm Manny on the field. So <laughs> keep on watching. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know what with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing out some Dollar Tree makeup, if you guys like the gays. What is fair? What is that? Sweden. It's Sweden. That's Sweden, mama. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And that's that. That's fucking that. And we're gonna just keep it going. And we're just gonna go inside this store and we're gonna keep it going. And we're just gonna keep moving and walking. <sighs> Shut up, Annie. <laughs> we got the Dollar Tree. Does a Dollar Tree only have $1 things or do they have like $5 things? I'm curious. I'm thinking about five below maybe. Okay, you know what? We actually do have a full makeup section here at Miss Dollar Tree. It's been a long time since I tried anything from Dollar Tree. It's been years, so I'm very intrigued to see if there's any good products here. Okay, I gotta admit, this might be the coolest find so far. These are like dupes for the Artiste brush and they're a dollar only. Like look at how packed those bristles are. They could be terrible. The bristles could be falling out. I don't know, we're gonna try them out though. I'm gonna get one of every single one. A foundation one, look at this shit. You guys. You guys, I just want one that's not used every single motherfucking cheek I open is either cracked or you look what what's going on like you guys i'm not well i'm not well i'm scared but we're gonna we're gonna keep looking okay you guys i literally also just watched something i literally went in this basket is completely full now let's go try some of this shit on i shouldn't be here i shouldn't fucking be here let me tell you something real quick i've not been to a lot of dollar trees but when i tell you that fucking store was so clean and like spotless it was so nice in there Hey, you guys working at that store, you're killing it. Like so beautiful, so clean, you guys slayed that. But now I'm gonna pass it over to Manny out in the studio to test the goodies we have acquired. I spent 50 bucks, so I got 50 items. Everything's $1.25. I'm a little shocked that I got that many items for only like $50. So I'm excited to see like what is actually good. Thank you so much to Manny out in the field. You're just doing, you're doing the Lord's work for us all. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it more than life itself. Anyways, you guys, so we have an entire bag here. Okay, we got an entire Dollar Tree bag. The bag is full. I have secured the bag, if you will. Um, is that what the youngins are saying? I have literally so much stuff in here. Now, let me just go ahead and start taking them out before we even start. I already soaked a beauty sponge that I got from here. This is from Sassy and Chic. I will say, I've used worse sponges. This did hella expand and it's not like super super soft but it's like pretty decent for a dollar 25 like i used worse sponges for more money let me tell you that it's not bad bad it's not great but it's not bad i can't believe that all of this all of this only came out to be 48 dollars and one cent i it shocks me it shocks me i don't get it what's in here okay guys so what we're gonna do we're gonna start off first with our base of course i also grabbed these sassy and chic brushes which look like artiste brushes i'm assuming they're supposed to be a dupe for them but they looked really cool what the fuck is this what the fuck is this this is a blend sponge popsicle five p it's a five piece popsicle sponge set each layer is a, a sponge what's going on so let's just start off you know i have this smoothing face primer that minimizes pores apparently from la colors and it's supposed to minimize our pores I want to know if any of this stuff is expired, like when this was made. That's true. It says clear and minimizes pores, and that looks completely white to me. Oh my word. So we're starting off strong, I see. Okay, so it's time for a facial massage, apparently. You guys, what was that? What was that? Maybe like pat it in, it'll like absolve. It'll dissolve the color a little bit maybe. I have a white cast. 
Well, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on here on this fucking day. On my phone. On my phone, you're gonna see what's going on because it's it's really scary. I'm scared. What are those? What's all this white patchy flakes here? Y'all. So this like white primer is literally sticking to every single pore that I have and giving me whiteheads that I don't even have there. That was <gasps> horrible. Maybe the back of my iPhone will catch it better. Y'all see this, what's going on here? Y'all see that? Yeah, that wasn't there before, sweetie. Okay, so we're starting off really weak. We'd love to say we're starting off strong, but we're starting off weak. Weak, weak. Okay, guys, so I try to like rub it out as best as I could, and it's just, there's just a little bit left. <laughs> and I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Next for you guys, we're gonna go in with the new color moisturizing foundation. Let's take a dollop. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, it's a creamy texture and consistency. I'm taking it on the sponge on one side, I'm gonna pat it in. The smell of this, oh my gosh, it smells like harsh plastic. Very harsh chemical plastic smell. I'm just gonna put that all over the skin here. Do we see a difference, you guys? There is, right? Like there's a little bit of coverage over here it's giving a dewy finish. That smell is actually very haunting. So I know it's the foundation because on the back end of the sponge, there's no smell. Smell. You guys, that smells like, it smells almost like burnt. Fuck, it's hard to describe. That's like a little, that's a little freaky. Should we try our little like mini artiste brush? This is what I was most excited for. I'm the most excited for this fucker, you know, you guys. I really am, so let's. Blend it in. It is very heavily packed. I feel like it actually gives me more coverage on this side with the brush. What do you guys think? It definitely is not like an artiste brush because the artiste brushes are like flat. This has this like dome on it, which is actually like really, really weird because it's not flat against my skin. It has like just that little dome section. Okay, the foundation I would say is um, terrible and really greasy and doesn't give me any coverage whatsoever. This I feel like has potential. I do. I'm not giving up yet on this on these brushes yet. I'm not giving up just yet, but I will say. So now we also have you guys the uh, matte foundation. It's new from LA Colors. I might just put a little bit on top. I remember using a concealer from like five below and it worked like really, really, really Really, really well. Maybe it's like that, you know? Or we're, just gonna, or we're gonna essentially just kind of build a little bit of coverage, okay? Don't be scared, y'all. The consistency is very, it's a whipped mousse consistency. A whipped moussey consistency is what we have here. This is more so that we can just build the coverage up so we can get it to be something. At least it's not like super sticky or anything. It's just more so a moussey consistency. So obviously the point of doing a video like this, you guys, is just showing you guys what from, if you guys wanna buy anything or try any kind of makeup from the Dollar Tree, what to avoid and what to get. Obviously, it's a low price point either way. You can do your own you know, investigation, but this video is to provide a little bit of insight before you even have to do any of that, you guys. Before you even have to go there, okay? This is for, this is for you. I'm gonna show you guys on my phone what's going on. Okay, guys, so this is what the foundation is looking like so far. Look at this, the little spots on my nose here. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Like, it's so bad. See, there's a thing, there's glowy, and then there's greasy. I'm at the greasy stage of my life, currently. I am telling you right now, we are gonna find a good product in here. And that's fucking that. Okay, so I don't have any cream bronzer inside this collection, so I'm gonna take a cream bronzer of mine. It's because I wanna try this and see how it works with other products. Can you stop? We're gonna just put the cream bronzer on the skin and just lightly blend that through with that brush. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. This brush really, it takes a learning curve. It really does. I feel like it's like, you need to swipe with this. You can't like pat, which I'm so, I'm used to patting. I'm so used to patting when it comes to any kind of brush, like applying essentially anything. I'm more of a patter and not a swiper, but this brush, like it, you need to swipe. It's so weird. And it's fucking blotchy, dude. You guys, it's blotchy. It doesn't wanna apply evenly. This is the contour brush version. Maybe this will be better. I mean, like bronze, maybe this is a better brush. I feel like the little one is, is actually better because it's not as like, I don't know, I feel like it's more precise. You have a little more control with it. The problem is that it's domed. I hate the dome. I need this shit to be flat. Do you guys wanna know what I'm really banking on? I'm banking on this brush. I'm, I have a feeling, I have a good feeling. This is the the little chic uh, eyeshadow one, but I'm not gonna use it for eyeshadow. What I'm gonna use it for is nose contouring. I'm banking 
that this will be like sickening. It's a little hard to use. I was thinking that this could be like a new little contour brush for me, like a new contour moment. Cause I was thinking like, oh, well maybe like because of the way it's shaped, it could be really good for that and like really kind of make it easier. But literally that just made it about 10 times harder. You guys, I am not smooth sailing right now. We are in choppy water. We're in choppy fucking water, you guys. Like I'm scared we're gonna drown out here. Okay, I had faith in you and you fuck me. It was, I really had a lot of high hope and the hope has been crushed and destroyed. It's been crushed and destroyed long ago. So I'm gonna go with our little cream blushes, like one of the only ones I found that was not opened. This is the Italia Deluxe Lovely Cheek Mousse Blush. And it literally like hadn't been used. So I was like, yay! This is in the shade Outspoken. So let's go ahead and try this on. I'm gonna take this little brush. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. It's like literally picking up everything that was there before. And the mousse almost like doesn't want to, doesn't want to stick to my skin. It doesn't want to stick to my skin. It's literally repelling my skin. It's super patchy. I want you guys to see my cheeks, okay? It's just patchy. There's like little spots that there's more pigment. There's spots that are less pigment. It's picking up product. It's just a mess. You guys, this could have been like a really cute color too. Like honestly. So far you guys, it's actually been probably the worst full face I've ever tried in my entire career. Yeah. Okay, let's go in with this Be Pure Infused Face Powder. Something just like a pressed powder and I do need to set my face. It's just a completely white translucent powder. I'm gonna take a large fluffy. Maybe this will help. This is my LBF1 face brush. Okay. I do feel like that powder might be helping to kind of diffuse everything to make it look a little bit more blurred. Powder tends to do that. What do we think? I feel like it's looking a little bit better. What do we think? It's giving me a little bit of a white cast. It's definitely not like fully translucent. Baby, there is a cast in here, Casper. Oh, I bet this could be really good like touch-up powder actually because it's absorbing like everything. It's going down nicely. It's giving me a nice like satin finish, not too matte. Did we just find our first like little like Ray of hope and sunshine? Did we just find a little ray of sunshine in this fucking storm? Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. What? So now we have uh, our face a little bit set. This I would say so far, honestly, is probably the best thing I've tried so far is the uh, Infuse, Infuse pressed face powder for smooth matte finish, control shine. That's probably been like the best thing so far I've used. Like honestly, by far. I grabbed this, you guys. This is the Me Makeover Essentials palette. And I don't know what's in here. The fact that this was $1.25 and it's a full-blown contour kit, I don't have high the highest, the highest hopes. But we are gonna try and we are gonna attempt. Because we are what? Adventurers. This is like intense ass packaging for $1.25, I will say. Like fully wrapped in cellophane and then a tin. Wow, 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 look at that. Like this is intense for $1.25. Even, look at this, even an insert and a fucking, and a fucking brush. You guys, I am getting a little excited in my nether regions. Okay, I'm gonna take the middle shade right here. It's very pigmented immediately right away. Holy shit. Okay, it's very pigmented. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade on the side as well, on the right, that side. And we're gonna lightly press that over the bronzery areas. It's very pigmented. Very, 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 very pigmented. <laughs> I will say though, like, is it pigmented? Yes. It's a little intense and a little powdery, but like, it could be worse. It could be worse for $1.25. Like, look at that. It like builds super well. It's pigmented as heck. And if you like pigmented bronzers and stuff like that, I think that this could work for you. It's very pigmented though, so be careful. A little goes a long, 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 long way. Okay, I'm gonna take the top shades. I'm gonna take this like yellow one and this pinky one. I'm gonna put that in the center of my face. And this is gonna be like kind of like our blending into the bronzer shade. I'm a muddy mess. I am in fact a muddy, muddy mess. And we're not gonna talk about it. No, we're not. Can it just diffuse a little bit? I beg. I beg. Okay, I think that with the sponge patting it in, it's doing something. 
it's doing something. Okay, the Makeup Essentials Contour Kit, it's not terrible. It's really, really not. I'm gonna go in with this powder blush called Sweet Cheeks from LA Colors. I think the color is really pretty. It's like a nice fluorescent pink. I'm gonna take a brush. It's very pigmented. I feel like this is definitely helping the cheek situation because of what was going on with that mousse. This is helping. This is definitely, definitely helping. It's giving Theachi Smosa though. It really is. It's giving Theachi Smosa pink and that's not the color I go for. It's not. When I feel it, it's very velvety. It has a nice finish. This is not bad. I would say that the little, these little blushes, like they're not terrible. They're really, really not. They have a nice pigmentation to them. They're not like super powdery, but you know, you gotta kind of look for your shade. But that's not, that one's not terrible. It could be a lot worse, and we just used worse as a blush. We did. We witnessed what it could have been. So let's count our blessings. Okay, you guys, so I, I ended up grabbing these little loose shadows from LA Colors. They looked cool. Obviously, they're $1.25. This is in the shade Honeysuckle. And I thought it'd be kind of nice to use it as a highlighter, actually, because it looked like a really pretty honey champagne shade. And I was very intrigued by it. Whoa! There's a little brush. This component's actually kind of adorable. Listen, this is what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand, a little bit, it's like a loose pigment, and then we're gonna take a highlighting brush and we're going to put that onto the skin. Oh! Wait a fucking minute! No, I literally love it. Like, actually love this. It's not glittery either. It's like a really just nice pigment. We have officially, so far, found the banger of this video. And even when I look forward, you guys, there's no cast on my face. There's no like white cast. You turn and it's hella reflective. I'm literally putting highlighter everywhere because it's gonna distract you guys from how bad my face looks. Wow, these shimmering loose eyeshadow from LA Colors. And it comes with this little brush if you want to sweep it on, I don't. Clearly. This was fire. A dollar twenty-five for this. <laughs> okay, clearly we have a win. Okay, guys, so let's move in along. Should we do brows? I think we should do brows. The only brow pencil that they had there literally is this brow pencil from LA Colors. The defines and fills brows in the shade medium. This is the only brow pencil they had. So I'm gonna need you guys to mind your fucking business. On the edge of it, it has like a little like spooly looking thing. I think someone forgot to add pigment to this pencil. So the pencil is extremely powdery. It's also it's just the wrong color. But the pencil itself is very, very, very powdery. <sighs> Y'all ever just get like so annoyed at something that you just have to take a step back and breathe? Y'all ever, ever get there sometimes? Or is it just me? I wish they had a darker, they had a darker shade because this is way too light and warm for me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go and do my other brow off camera and prime my lids, and I'll be right back to do the shadows. <laughs> okay guys, so this is what's going on on the brow. Um, I'm not even gonna dignify this brow with the back of the brows or fill a song. I can't do it. I don't feel the song right now. It's not coming to me. And you can't make me when they look like this. You can't make me, I won't accept. Okay. Um, anyways, you guys, so I already primed my lids really quickly. And I grabbed this little palette. This is the uh, LA Colors Sunflower little trio. And I only wanted to use this more so for the browns for the crease. Cause I did have a little bit of, I have like some lid stuff like on my lids I wanna try out and see how they are. I'm gonna take a Lunar Beauty LBE1 eye brush. I'm gonna take this shade and a little mix with a brown one. And I'm just gonna put that into the crease for our transition. Look at that, it's going down. You guys, it's going down, look at that. And it's building for $1.25. I'm not mad at this whatsoever. Sure, does it take a little bit of extra building? Yeah, but for the price and for the color, I think it's a beautiful transition-y like nudes brown. That is actually sickening. Like that is pretty good. Wow. Oh wow, okay, another win, another win, another find. Another win, another find. Another win, another find, another win, another find, another win. Another win. Another find. Not me breaking down in song. Okay, that's like pretty good, you guys. I'm not even mad at that. I really am not. Because again, for $1.25, like I can't expect the world here. And you know, I got a lake. Maybe not the world, but I did get a little bit of a lake. Um, okay, so I also have this also shimmer shade right here. I just feel it. 
very icy, powdery, very icy and powdery. We're not gonna use that, no. But the mattes, you guys, they were not that bad. I'm telling you, they were not that bad. So that makes me happy. I'm pulling away, um, I'm pulling products I use, I'm putting them on the side for things that I actually didn't like. So I can do at the end of the video and show you, like, you guys, this is what I actually do think that you could spend your money on. With this video, it's like, at the end of the day, you. Even if you're only spending a dollar twenty-five, a bunch of dollar twenty-fives. If you don't like the product, why spend your money on it? That's the whole like reason I'm even doing this. So for me, it's like, is it even worth a dollar twenty-five, or is it worth investing in finding something else? That's why I'm doing this video. So I'm putting things on the side that if you bought them, I think that you guys would be pretty okay with. So now I'm gonna go with this new. It says new LA Colors Metallic Glowing Eyes. LA Colors literally runs Dollar Tree, apparently. Everything here, I swear, so much of it is from Dollar Tree, or from LA Colors, so it's a really pretty copper brown. It's like that Morphe packaging. It looks exactly like it to me. Oh, bitch, these are more pigment than I was expecting. That's more pigment than I was expecting, let me tell you that. Okay, and we're gonna take a brush quickly. And we're gonna blend the edges. Okay, it's kind of blending away. I will say that it's blending away a little bit. So that's what that looks like right there. It got a little, it got a little scary, but I think it, it can just be built back up right here where it's like kind of missing. It like kind of blend away. So I'm gonna try to keep that there. I'm not mad at this so far. I'm really not. I actually think that looks pretty fucking cool. <sighs> you guys, when we started this video, I almost quit. I did. I almost quit because I was scared. Because I was fucking scared, dude. And here we are. We made it through the wilderness. What do you think? Also, I will say that it's not sticky because a lot of times like when I use inexpensive like eye sh liquid shadows, they'll get really, really sticky and tacky and I'll go like this and then, like my lids will stick together. This one isn't, it's, it's starting to really dry down. I will say there's obviously a little bit of a harsh edge between like the liquid shimmer and the shadows that I have because I don't have dark enough shadows to combat the deep base of this, if that makes any sense. So I will say that for what we got, like that's not bad, right? Like that's not that bad. Let me see if it's gonna crease. We're gonna we're gonna continue this video and see how it does. Like if there's gonna be creasage, whatever. There's a, another. I also grabbed this shade as well, which I'm obviously not gonna like use. But this is in the shade Silk. It's like a pinky shade. This one's much more sheer. Wait, let's pick into a little bit more patchy. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Let me show you guys the bronzy one that I just used. The difference in base and payoff. So the bronzy one is actually not bad. This is in the shade Cashmere. Not terrible, not terrible. If you're in a pinch and you need a cute little like liquid shadow moment, that could be cute. Okay, cool, so that's not bad. I'm gonna take some liner. We have a couple liner options, you guys. We have the eye marker from LA Colors, which is the slim felt tip, or we have this from LA Colors, the like liquid eyeliner. So I'm gonna try the brown one first because I think a brown liner would look like actually so Stunning with this, so it looks like kind of small. It's a felt tip, it's a large felt tip marker. It's not like a small one, it's pretty thick, large and in charge, dense, girthy, if you will. It's not the most pigmented formula. It's almost like too light of a brown, but that could be because I have a shimmery base on, but it doesn't like want to show up as well. You know what I mean? Let's try it out here. God, I cannot do wings with this. Lord! No, it's just not pigmented, I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not that pigmented, you guys. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Once you like kind of do like back and forth, back and forth, multiple, multiple layers, I think it can be built up pretty nicely, actually. And obviously it needs to kind of be cleaned up. It's really, really, really hard to get a wing with such a thick ass marker, but like that one, again, not so bad, not so shabby. On the other side, I'm gonna do the black one. I'm gonna do the black one on the other side because I'm just kind of curious for the difference. But let me go and do all the shadows and everything I need to do on the other side and I'll be right back. I wanna try on some mascara and some lashes. I grabbed these lashes, which actually looked pretty like insane. And they're a wispy, full dramatic, handmade 3D foam mink lash, which looked like kind of insane for $1.25. So we'll try these. Okay guys, so we are back and the eyes are done. So this is the eyes so far. You know, the eyes could be a lot worse, so I'm not mad. I'm not mad, I'm not devastated. But we are gonna try the black liquid liner from LA Colors liquid liner. Ooh. It's like that little tiny little whisper of a tip. That's, that's real black. You guys wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. That is so easy to go on because it's so, the bristle on this is so freaking long. Look at that. So it dries down to a satin finish, I would say. Not super matte, but it dries extremely, extremely fast. So you gotta kind of work with it pretty quickly. 
dries so quickly, it's already completely dry. What I do love, what I love about this is that you can get a really snatched wing clearly with this kind of liner because the bristle tip being so tiny. The problem is that it dries so incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fast. And it feels a little dry on my lids as well, actually. Woo! So it is definitely like, there's a learning curve to it as well. And it, oh, wow, it feels like really, really dry on my lids. Ah! Oh! I feel crazy, okay. Okay, so I have two mascaras I would like to try out today. We have the new LA Colors Volume, and then we have the Wet n Wild Full Healthy Lash. So we got, and they're both teal. So we're gonna try the Wet n Wild on the right. Both lashes are curled. I obviously just don't have really good lashes, so it's hard to tell when they're even curled, but they are, I promise you that. This is the Mega Wear Mascara, Wet n Wild. The bristle is a long wand with little spikes. I think that this might be dried out because because barely anything's happening. So I think this might be dried out. Great job at separating my lashes though. Great job at separating. Doesn't really do much for like the volume aspect of it, but great job at separating. But listen, I'm actually like not mad at this mascara. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at this. I just wish I had a newer one because I feel like this is a little dried out. I'm excited to go out and snag like a, a newer version of this. The problem with these things is that you never know when like something was made. Like you never know if it's like super old and super expired or not, but I'm enjoying this. Like it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a great, no, it's a little dry, but it's not terrible. For $1.25, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes, that makes sense. So now let's try the LA Colors Volume Lash and it's a lot smaller and it has a kind of more hourglassy type shape. Okay, we're gonna put some on. Okay, I'm putting some on. It's barely getting deposited on my lashes. Barely. You guys, it's barely doing anything. It's not the vibe I fear. It's not the vibe, stop! Can you guys tell a difference? Can you see that this has more like depth to the lashes, like they look a little bit thicker, a little more full than my left side does. For me, the Wet n Wild was the winner over the LA Colors one. This one's not very good. And now I'm gonna put on this lash, this fucking crazy ass, intense ass lash from that brand. Um, I don't like lashes this big. Like they're just, it's it's very intense. Very intense, very full. And the problem is too, like at least the problem to me, it's all like the same length. So it all just looks like one big clusterfuck of fibers. And that, that's what it's giving. And they're very plasticky and they feel very hard. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Well, they look crazy. Um, They're touching my eyebrows and this one's longer than the other. That's what, she, that's what I get for getting $1.25 lashes though. Like I'm not surprised, I'm not shocked, I'm not shaken to my core. Like they're not the best. They're not the best. So lip products, you guys, we have a few things I grabbed. We have the Wet n Wild Clear Gloss, which is a new product. We have the LA Colors Green Apple Lip Gloss, which I thought was kind of cute looking. We have this is like the only lipstick we grabbed. This is the LA Colors Matte Lips in the shade Bow. Let's do this one. Should we do a little bit of the face mist as well? I think we shall. Hydrating face mist from LA Colors. Let's see how rosy it smells. That just shot out like a fucking bat out of hell. I feel like I'm getting shot. Mayday, help me. <coughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Oh my God. Okay, let's try this lipstick real quick before I asphyxiate. Mmm. It's a good amount of color that goes, I mean, you just gotta warm it up. It doesn't really glide as easily, but it is a lot of coverage. It's real matte. It's real matte, huh? So that's what that looks like. Honestly, it's not bad. The color is very unique. It's like a, what, what would you describe this color as, you guys? Like a terracotta, a terracotta red? Like a crimson red? What would this be? A little burgundy in there? I don't hate it, actually. I really don't. I think she thinks it's, the color itself is really pretty. Once you warm it up, it's nice, but you gotta really warm her up to get it to be any kind of glideability. It's really matte, too. Real matte. Real matte! Okay, you know what? Should we try gloss? <laughs> it just looks so cute. I have to try it out. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as a lollipop gloss. The smell. I can't, I'm not using it. I'm not, I'm not using it. No, it's supposed to be green apple. It smells like what you clean the counters with. That's what it actually smells like. I just got sent to a different dimension, different multiverse with that scent. Oh, you know what I also saw? I actually saw this. This uh, Color Mates Rainbow Lip Gloss. Let's use this one. This is giving very Pride 2022. 
it's very much giving pride. So let's try this out. I don't understand this whatsoever. This gloss that just has every fucking color in it, I don't understand it. I'm assuming it's very sheer, because if it wasn't, that'd be weirder. It's not that sheer. There's definitely some color to it. Okay. What the fuck? See, there's like hella color. Gorgeous shine though. It smells like... It smells like my grandma, honestly. If you've smelled this, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It smells like a grandma. Like that, like white diamonds fragrance. Y'all, these scents be taking me out. These scents are taking me out. No, I can't. You guys, I can't do this. I need a wipey. I can't do this. I, I, can't, I can't do this gloss. It's, physic it's physically not possible. Let me already apply a little bit more of that lipstick, or that matte as hell lipstick. And let's go into Wet n Wild Gloss. Wet n Wild, I know you don't fail me. I love you, baby. It looks gorge. And it looks fucking gorge. Okay, so now it's truly the final look. We are done. I have looked worse. I have. I got my makeup done by a makeup artist once, and I've never looked worse. This even looks better than that. But it's still like... It's a little shocking. Can we all agree mutually that this is a shocking look for me? Like this doesn't look good. I think I did with the best that I could with what I had. And there were some cool, like products in that I was like, oh, I was pretty shocked away by, or blown away by, shocked with, blown away, blow me. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Okay, so the, the few products that I have here that I would recommend that I'm like, oh, you know what? This is actually worth even the dollar 25 where I actually feel like this could be a little bit of like a, oh shit, this is not too bad, are, of course, the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with Brush in the shade Honeysuckle. I just truly think they did such an awesome job with this specifically. I love the way that this looks. I love the way it goes on. Let me show you guys a swatch of it on my hand. It's just like a shimmery, loose, champagne reflect. And it's on my skin, obviously. I feel like it looks really nice as a highlighter. I would not really use this on the eyes necessarily, but as a highlight, I thought I did a really good job. I think that looks really insane, really intense. Pretty impressed with that. Um, another thing that I was like not mad about, and I think that it was actually okay and you'd worth the money to spend on, the LA Colors Blush in Sweet Cheeks. The blush isn't bad, you guys. The formulation isn't bad at all. I feel like it stayed pigmented on my skin. You can still see it through even after the full face is done. It's going strong. So I'm definitely not mad at that. I'm not mad at either of these two, to be quite honest. Oh, and this as well. The uh, LA Colors Eyeshadow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Cashmere. You guys, nice pigmentation to it. Not sticky. I'm wiping, wiping, wiping. Nothing's coming up. Still there. I'm much more impressed with this than I thought I would be. It's on my lids today, obviously. And I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. That must fail. <laughs> that must fail. And of course, the little wet and wild uh, gloss is tiny little wild shine. Lip gloss bomb, fire. It looks so good on my lips. I'm obsessed. You can make the eye marker from LA Colors, the brown one, work with multiple layers and building and building and building. And it will get to a nice little brown liner spot. But it's not very pigmented. It's not the best. So I can't be like, yeah, it's going to be amazing. You're going to be obsessed with it immediately. It takes a lot of building. It's a little bit streaky. See how it's like kind of sheer, but it can be built up. For a dollar, it's not bad. Um, I can't recommend like literally anything else. No, I can't. This is okay. The Makeover Essentials Control Kit, it's not bad. For a dollar twenty-five, it really isn't bad if you're on a on a bind and you want a quick little bronzing moment. That will definitely, definitely work. It's not terrible. A lot of the other stuff I did use was was bad. So the top four of the video are these four right here. Okay. Honeysuckle, clear gloss, sweet cheeks and this liquid shadow. Those are the top of the video. If you guys see these at Dollar Tree and you're like, oh, I might wanna try something out, these are actually worth the money and I don't think that you'd be mad if you spent $1.25 on them. Everything else, I'm like, don't even waste your money. Even though it's $1.25, it's still money being spent and it's a waste of money if they're like literally terrible products that I can't even imagine be working on anyone. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys have fun watching. I had so much fun filming it. I love doing full face videos like this. I wonder if there's a dollar store next to me anywhere. I would love to go to the dollar store and see full face of dollar store stuff because I haven't done that in forever as well. But um, hope you guys have fun watching this video. As always, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. I feel like it's a fucking piñata. Okay, next we're trying out this. Trying out this right here. I don't, I don't know, like it just, I feel like I just blacked out. Like I don't even remember what just happened. Please, please. Won't you stay with me? My neighbors are literally throwing a fucking rager right now. And like there's music in the background and I get demonetized for it. I'll literally? Fucking scream, dude. It's got a spooly, a spooly. I need some fucking water because this is stressing me out. 
I don't know why whenever I like holding my tits, it's like a comfort thing. I'm just like, Ooh. whoa! Throw Shamu back in the ocean. <gasps> Get these off me.